All right, let's start off with some basic stuff here. We've got some definitions to go through. Uh, these are the basic, basic day one definitions of geometry. All right, so first things first, uh, when we talk about this word, geometry, uh, what it literally translates into is measuring the earth. All right, so this whole idea of geometry, this concept that's been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, is all about human beings trying to get a better understanding of how to measure their earth, our earth. And that what basically boils down to learning about things like points, lines, segments, rays, angles, and then how they relate to uh, bigger and more complicated uh, thoughts and ideas. So let's start with this whole idea of point, right? A point is literally a location in space that has really no dimension. All right, we're going to usually label them with letters, and those letters are going to be capital. All right, but a point is basically just a dimensionless location. It doesn't have a length, a width, a height, or anything like that. And it's basically just our way of kind of setting a location, really, is all, all a point is. A line, on the other hand, is an infinite collection of points in two dimensions. So all of these are points right here. And they're literally just lined up forever and ever and ever. All right, and those points, again, a lot of times have labels. So that would be called line, capital A-B, line A-B, or line B-A. Doesn't matter the order. Next is a line segment. A line segment is a lot like a line, except it doesn't really go on forever. It stops. It has very defined endpoints right here. And again, we can label those endpoints with capital letters. And if we were to use notation here to write a line segment, it would be, it would look like that. A straight line above it with no arrows on the ends, and it doesn't matter the order of the letters. Array is kind of a mix between a line and a segment, and it only goes in one direction. So it has one end point, and it goes in this direction. All right, now, array, regardless of which way it points in the diagram, is always going to be written with the arrow pointing to the right. The first letter that you write in array notation is the terminal point right there. It's the end point. The second letter is always going to be the point that describes the direction of the ray. All right, I'll give you a different example over here. If we have a ray in a diagram that goes up like this, and it has an end point of Q, and it has two other points, S and R, we would still, when we write the ray in a sentence or a, an equation or something, we would still write the direction of the ray to the right, even though in the diagram it's pointing up to the left, and you would start with the end point, and you would finish with either one of those points, S or R, it doesn't matter, right, because they're both basically heading in the same direction. So either of these options is, is perfectly fine, as long as you start with Q. And finally, an angle, this is all we'll cover for this video, an angle is basically just, you know, when two rays come together at a vertex. Right, vertex is the corner right here. All right, and that angle, again, we need to know how to name them. Angles 
our uh, one of the main focuses of this course and we're gonna name them using sometimes three letters and sometimes just with one but you'll notice that the vertex is in the middle so angle ABC you can also call this one angle CBA it doesn't matter as long as that vertex is in the middle or if the angle is just sort of off on its own like this one is you can just refer to the angle as angle B All right, and when you see that you know that you're referring to this angle right in here the purple one and those angles all angles have a measure right and we'll talk more about that in a subsequent video but uh, those are your basics of geometry there are a lot more definitions that we'll learn uh, every pretty much every day but these are the five basic ones I want you to know right off the uh, off the bat here